<laughs> now, Unbelievable. Tell us a story. This is one of my favorite stories. Your trip to, uh, t uh, tell us a story when you, when, you, when you faced off with the boxer in the ring. Oh, oh man, I was a poor country. They, they, they doing so bad right now. You know, this is a Port au Prince in Haiti, Haiti, how you, you say that? Haiti, yeah. Haiti, Haiti. And um, well, I left, I, I have to go get my, new, my paper to come back in this country because of my wife, I was married and they threw me out of the country. So she doing a petition for me to come in. And I got a taxi and I said, take me to a promoter in town. And I challenged anybody in town, he took me to a promoter. He only promoted boxing, and he was... So you went from the United States to yeah, Haiti? To Haiti, yeah. Just to receive what? To get a visa to get to, back? Yeah, to do the, to wait, back to the to paper, do all the paper to the consulate, and, and get the right kind of paper to come back in, because now the visa entrance now is for a resident. Before I come in, I had just a working visa, you right. see? And, uh, so you're so, looking for some cash. You're so looking. now I'm looking to make some money, so I ask for a guy, because I speak Spanish. I learned Spanish when I went to Italy, to uh, Venezuela and Cuba down that way for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So. I was lucky to speak Spanish, and I asked a, a driver that if he speaks Spanish, he said, yeah, okay, then, then I'll take you. So when I asked him a question, and he took me directly to the promoter, and I said, I challenge anybody in Ireland, wait or left or whatever they want to do, you know, anything. He said, there is a box in there, I'll challenge him. So, and I challenged was Emilio Agramonte, and that time he was on the top 10, okay? Heavyweight boxer? Heavyweight boxer, yeah, Emilio Agramonte. Well, we made that deal, we go on the ring. And the first couple of rounds, they were lousy, just going around and around the ring. And as soon as they go in the ring, we made a deal where I got a break. And the end of the second round, because I know you, you, you know, you press four times. End of the second round, he, he got me right in here. Now I'm too, too tired. I got, a, I got a thing here right now, you know? <laughs> and, um, and I went down, and the bell went. But I wasn't, I wasn't out. But the bell went, so I said, ah, that's what I got to do. Because the guy was too smart. He said, right around the outside. He wouldn't you let know? you get your hands well, on him. Well, sooner or later, I was going to grab him, throw him outside, and take my side with me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make him <laughs> beat me, you know? You know, it's the hell with it. Excuse the language. But <laughs> 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 so, so now, I go in the corner. I have an Italian guy. He doesn't know what's going on. And he says, you OK? So I get, yeah, I can't tell him, yes, I'm okay, because I don't want him to say, yeah. to feel good, because they, they'll telegraph to the other corner, see? You're playing possum. So I'm playing possum. So, and now, all of a sudden, I'm, the referee start to count one, two, and eight. I, I move out, and I'm halfway up and halfway down like this. And Agramonte mm -hmm. come in right there to, to finish me off. I scoop the left leg. And if I scoop that leg, you know where you end up to. You end right up right back. in here. Yeah. Boom! I put the leg in there, put my chest on top of my, of his, my back on the top of his chest and just turn and twist. I hear a crack and that was the end of it. <laughs> that was the end of it. See, That's it. Knocked him out right there. Well, uh, yeah. You hurt him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He quit him. I pinned him, but he but quit that, that, did, you, did you finish his career now? Yeah, I never hear it from him since. <laughs> no, never. Jeez, I, I don't know yeah. why.